pavlova is a quintessential Christmas dish and this pavlova wreath will bring a beautiful festive feel to any Christmas table. To get started, we're just going to add six egg whites to a stand mixer and a good pinch of salt. Try and use egg whites that are a little bit older. That way the proteins in the egg whites have already been denatured and they'll whip up nice and beautifully for you. Now you want to get your egg whites to nice, silky, firm peaks. And there we have beautiful, silky, firm peaks. Now to this, I'm just going to gradually add some caster sugar, about a tablespoon or two at a time, just until it's nicely dissolved. So here I have a Multex piping bag that I've just snipped the end off. I'm going to add about a quarter of my meringue into the bag. Just bringing the ends together. I'm going to pipe two very thin layers of meringue around my Multex bake. The Multex printed bake is fantastic. It makes its job so quick and easy. And why? You don't have to draw the circles yourself. Multex have already done it for you. Very carefully following the circles all the way around. Beautiful. Now I'm going to pop in the rest of the meringue. And then just using a little spatula, I'm just going to smooth all the holes. Fill them all up on the inside and the outside, trying to build the meringue nice and high so that we can do a bit of a messy flat smooth on the top. And we want the top to be a little bit flat so that way all of our wreath toppings don't slide off. Perfect. Okay, now my oven's preheated to 150 degrees Celsius. I'm just going to pop this in my preheated oven, turn it down to 120 degrees Celsius straight away, let it bake for about an hour and a half and then turn off the oven and leave the pav in the oven until it's cooled completely. That's the trick. My pavlova wreath has perfectly cooled in the oven overnight and now I'm ready to decorate. Here I have some perfectly whipped cream and I'm just going to spoon it over, oops, that's okay, just like this, spreading it nicely. Now you can tell that all of the sugar was perfectly dissolved into my egg whites because I haven't got any sinuresis, which is basically where the shell of your meringue will actually crack and start to bubble and release the protein of the eggs. And the great thing about covering your pav with cream is if you do have any little slip ups or any little holes, you can cover them up. I'm just going to pop my pav onto my serving tray before I finish decorating it. So we'll just very gently and carefully slide it over and then if we can, now, where to start? I'm going to start with some strawberries. Berries are beautiful and in season all through Christmas. So choose your favourite ones. I do have a little bit of a thing for strawberries though. And don't forget the cherries. finish with some raspberries just to add that little bit of acidy zing. Some of these bigger ones that you get in the height of summer, just tear them up and that brings some more beautiful colour, showing the centres of them.
Yum. This is such an easy dessert for Christmas. Perfect for any time of year.